Hi, this is Lana from Hopping In and welcome to part 3 of our guide on starting the daycare center. In part 1 we've covered why location matters and in part 2 we've explored options for funding your daycare and projecting your growth. Today we're going to tackle red tape and zoning so you can turn your daycare dream into reality. When you're opening a daycare, you have to follow both your city requirements and your state requirements. It's best to check who's in charge of what with your licensing representatives, but as a rule of thumb, city regulations govern building, like fire alarm systems, blueprints, and so on. And state regulations handle actual daily running of the daycare, food, protocols, etc. But wherever you're located, zoning is very important. You should check that the zoning of the property you want to rent allows it to be used for a daycare center. Another thing to keep an eye out for are playgrounds. Some jurisdictions may allow you to use a nearby public play area or in some cases you may be required to have an outdoor play area at your daycare. Unless you buy or lease a building that was already a daycare center, you're going to need to renovate. It's best to find an architect who has already worked on daycare centers, as they know what's usually required. A ground floor building is preferable for your daycare center because a two-level or second floor building makes things a lot more complicated, especially in a fire. A daycare kitchen is a lot different from your home kitchen. For example, under regulations, you may be required to have a dishwashing sink with three compartments and the grease trap that isn't allowed to go into the sewer. Under some requirements, you will have to install drinking fountains. For younger kids, you'll need a sink in each classroom, so plan for that ahead and check all the requirements with your local authorities. And in cases where your city or town has even stricter requirements than the other, go with the stricter rules and always consult your licensing representatives to get the details. If you're worried about random new regulations after opening, don't worry. The authorities will give you enough time to implement it or they will exempt you. If you're worried about filling your daycare from the get-go and making sure that you have a budget big enough for improving, you can check out Hopping In, a simple software that lets parents book extra time and helps you earn extra revenue. For more helpful advice, you can also take a look at our blog on hoppingin.com. In part 4 of our guide, we'll get ready to break out the jackhammer and start the construction. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in part 4.